Hey guys, I'm Steph. So what is the difference between development and coding? A lot of people think it's one and the same, but it's not. Coding is a part of a development process. A coder may need to get into development or a coder may just do basic coding. So let me help you define the difference. So basic coding is actually writing a code. You might do basic coding if you say want to automate some processes in Excel or you know write some python based or uh, vb i think it's v, vba v, visual basic applications they still use that in excel using some vba in an excel in an excel spreadsheet to automate the creation of graphs or reports or something that um, on a simple level is coding writing html is coding writing css is coding when coding becomes part of the larger process of development, you're getting into application development. What does that mean? That means you're building systems that are a little bit more complex than writing a few snippets of code. When you are a developer, there's so much more to it than coding. And this is, again, something I see that a lot of beginners on YouTube don't quite grasp. The coding aspect of full-blown development may be 20% of it, really. A lot of, the, your, lot of the time that you put in development has to do with making architectural choices, making language choices, making structural choices, uh, figuring out different strategies uh, to approach things. You may find a lot of bugs, for example, has nothing to do with your code, but has something to do with the configuration of your infrastructure in which the code resides. I'm bringing this up because a lot of people will look at apps like chat gpt or copilot and we'll see that we're able to, it's able to generate a lot of code for you with some decent prompts but again that's great and i think you should lever it, leverage it by vote way but it's only a part of the process it's so because of that and from what i understand about what this ai these ais can do and let's throw in these low code and no code platforms as well um, it's just going to speed up the process and make code more robust, meaning cleaner. When you have an AI generating the code, there is less of a chance, at least today in 2023, there is less than a chance, less of a chance rather, that the code will have bugs. Although you've, you can see many, many reports showing that chat GPT will make mistakes. It's not uncommon, but I'm not trying to trash AI. I think it's fantastic, of course but you have to know what you're doing. One of the key things when you're working with an AI like ChatGPT and you're using it to generate code, beyond the trivial stuff, you really, know, really need to know what you're doing. So I've spoken to some pro developers who tell me that they use ChatGPT to write out what is called the boilerplate code. The stuff, it's kind of mundane, low level, but kind of sets up the structure, the basic structure. So you can use ChatGPT as an example, to do that, to generate some boilerplate code for your app. You could use a chat GPT to maybe uh, tighten up some of the uh, details about your code to make it more refined. Um, there's all these different use cases for it. And again, I encourage you to use it, but it doesn't replace developers because developers actually have to understand. So the developer has to be able to ask the AI proper questions. If you don't know what you're doing, you won't be able to, and the AI won't be able to really uh, help you as much as it would otherwise. Now, if artificial general intelligence comes about within the next six years, who knows, then that's a whole game changer in of itself. I don't know. That could be a worldwide game changer. Let me conclude with this. If you're worried about AI destroying developer jobs, I wouldn't be because way before the AI destroys developer jobs is going to destroy so many other and replace so many other white collar jobs. That's, you know, that's just a fact of it because of the complexity. Bookkeepers, accountants, many legal positions, legal assistants, copywriters, uh, all these jobs will be gone long before uh, software development. So you're in a good space relative to other many other professions. So let me read this comment that somebody made about this whole subject. So he writes, um, I started developing in the 1980s. We're talking basic and COBOL days. So I lived through the same transition you described here. He's commenting about my 
a video I put out where I talk about how I've seen these big uh, technology leaps. Anyway, currently doing a lot of Drupal stuff in PHP. I've been using AI to help me develop code for the past month. And your productivity savings guesstimate is good, if not a little low on the low side. So I was guessing you might see a 30, 40%, depending, you know? Yes, the AI can write good code, but it can't develop, it can't design, it definitely makes mistakes, at least for the near future. AI-assisted code development will require a lot of human supervision by humans who know what they are doing. So yeah, other experienced developers are saying the same thing as I just explained to you here. Now you understand the difference between coding and development. Understand that coding is a part of development and understand that though tools like a chat GPT can speed up the coding process and thus the development process, you still need to know what you're doing and for the, foresee and for the foreseeable future, I'm pretty sure that coding is gonna be just fine. Remember, all those other professions and jobs will disappear long before software development does. Hey, I'm Uncle Steph, some people Call me Steph, so people call me Uncle Steph. I run a mentoring program where I teach people in the ways of code. I also teach them about freelancing, entrepreneurship, personal finance. I teach them about how your brain works and so much more. My mentoring program is designed to transfer my decades of experience to you. So instead of having to spend 15, 20 years learning all this stuff, you can get it from me within uh, you know, with less than a year. Links below unclesteph.com. If you don't like the idea of the mentoring program, then you could check out my self-paced courses, interactive training, unique out there, very different from anything else you've ever seen, where you got instant feedback, instant help, uh, grading, tracking, possibility for certifications, et cetera, et cetera. It's all in there. I make it really easy. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.